Unrest at Bordeaux had long been brewing and risked boiling over if the Girondins didn't flip the script and beat visitors at Montpellier. David Guillon's arrival stemmed the flow of defeats initially, but after two draws, defeats to relegation threatened Toi and champions elect PSG had them rock bottom still. Montpellier were settling into mid table, but win. Olivia Daolio's men could yet reignite a late fight for Europe. Well, a stunning backdrop, but would Bordeaux players be inspired or sink without a trace? Montpellier were right for the jugular. The Paillet had won on three of the last four visits to the Stade Matmut Atlantique. Steen Gregerson had the upper hand in the first contact, but lost Eli Wabi just 10 minutes later. The 19 year old continuing a special season has eight goals in the top flight already. Benoit Costil's first start in two months, making little difference. And it turned to be a double salvo in five minutes. A rocket from Mole. Six for the season. Arrowing in on his best tally of seven for Mess. This one special. Costell back, but no chance with either goal. But things seem to be looking up for Bordeaux as Alberto Ellis went down. He got between man and ball, and Nicola Cosa sent off. The Honduran took the responsibility, but what a save from Jonas Omland. Huge let off, but Montpellier seemed insistent that they were going to make life difficult. Elise again felled a bad one, the reaction though worse, and referee Thomas Leonard would reach for his back pocket once more. And despite the dancing of Wai, Niado Ristic seeing red, the Serbian off. A crazy first 45 minutes, two goals, two reds, all for Montpellier. Why would be sacrificed at the break as Ambrose Onyango came on to help. Despite Ellis missing from the spot, surely the setup for a Bordeaux comeback. But the Panther was just not to be his day. Omlan in unbeatable mood. Chavarro Del Rosen, the last to try. Montpellier, the first team in the last 30 years to win a match without conceding despite two sending offs in the first half. Bordeaux players suffering the wrath of the fans who stayed behind to make their anger known as the club appeared to be destined for Ligue 2 Becquete unless something radical changes.